Hello and welcome to the Getting Started tutorial for Commander Conquest of the Americas. Firstly you will notice that you have received mail. This mail serves as a welcome. It also outlines your primary mission and reminds you to remain in the favor of your four advisors. Once you have read the welcome message, close it by clicking on the X at the bottom right of the window. We need to select our fleet. This is done either by left clicking on the 3D ship on what screen or by clicking on the commander you icon on shortly, screen. Sir. Once we have selected our fleet we give them reached. orders. This is done by right clicking a location for the ship to set sail for on the map. You will notice that you are able to scout the map by moving the cursor around and by left clicking on the world map. Aye, aye, sir. After scouting, we have set the destination or given orders for the fleet to travel to the selected location. Also note that we can also affect the time to travel ratio by clicking on the plus or minus multiplier at the top of the screen. En route to the destination, an empty colony spot is observed. These are typically shown with a pick and shovel icon. You will notice in this case two icons depicting the resources spotted near this area, in this case iron ore and hides. By clicking the iron ore icon for example we can see the entire production chain for this resource. Now we found the colony and can either keep the prescripted name for the colony or then rename it and in this case we will rename it to Iron Town. To enter into the colony view we left click on the colony spot which brings up the colony overlay. Once we click on the colony overlay we open up the colony information window. Remember one of your goals is to bring more colonists to the colonies. The colony financials are not that great so we need to impose some taxes. Please note not too much since this has a negative effect on the colony morale. By clicking on the buildings tab we are able to see the buildings and the building level. Once we have closed the general info window we can go to a specific window by moving along the icons in the colony overlay. Here we have selected to click on the buildings window. In this window you will notice two tabs recommended and all buildings. As we notice the other buildings require smithy to be built first, we are selected from the list. We notice that the construction time is 3 months and at a cost of 45,000. At this point we simply click the construction icon and close the window. Ready to fulfill your command, At this sir. point we uh, select we our fleet our way, and sir. continue to explore the new world destination reached. Thank you for joining us at this tutorial. Hope you got something out of it. Happy sailing, happy trading. Hello and welcome to the basic trade route planning tutorial of Commander Conquest of the Americas. First we need to select the squadron yes, and click on the trade route planning button. Next we need to select the first stop for the trade route. 
Then we order the squadron to buy some cargo from there. After that we select the next stop for the trade route, which in this case is our home port. Then we set an order to sell the selected amount of cargo there. And at the same time, we load some colonists to be transported back to the colony. Note that we have issues with the trade route since the colonists aren't unloaded from the squadron. To solve this we need to select the first stop again and order the squadron to unload the colonists there. Now that the issue area is empty we can activate the trade route. The squadron is now on a trade route until you decide to cancel or modify it. Hello and welcome to the shipbuilding tutorial for Commander Conquest of the Americas. In this tutorial we'll start by selecting home port from the top bar. There are two windows that we need here, the docks and the shipyard window. Let's start from the shipyard window. Here you can find a list of all the ships that you can build in your home port. As you will notice, some of the ships have grey background and have a lock icon on the top left hand corner. This means that we cannot build them yet. By moving our mouse over the build button we can see when these locked ships will be available. This time we will build a caravel. Once we select it from the list we can see the details about the ship on the right hand side. To view a description of the ship we select the description tab. The ship's speed and the amount of cargo space is shown on the top. The price and construction time of the ship are shown at the bottom. It is possible to select upgrades for our ships. We move our mouse over an upgrade and we will see a detailed description of that upgrade. In this case let's select cargo space increase upgrade. As you can see, the stats for the ship change according to the upgrade selected. For example, this upgrade decreases the ship's speed but increases its cargo space. Naturally, all upgrades also add to the construction price and time. OK, so now we are ready to build our caravel by pressing the build button and it will then go into the queue. We will add another one with the same upgrade by simply pressing this again. In the queue we can see the construction time left. It is also possible to cancel construction. So all we have to do now is to wait for our ships to be finished. OK, so after we received the message that our ship is ready, we can access it by opening the docks window. Here we have both our finished ships on the left side and a squadron that is waiting at home port on the right hand side. A ship can be added to a squadron by selecting it and pressing this upper button. It is also possible to create a new squadron for this ship. But for the purpose of this demonstration we will just add our caravel to the squadron we have in dock. Alright, now we are ready to set sail for the high seas. Happy sailing! Hello and welcome to the advisor tutorial for Commander Conquest of the Americas. The advisors can be accessed from the advisor button at the bottom right. Our current overall standing with the advisors is shown in the middle and the state of different advisors is shown below their portrait. Remember, you don't have to please all of the advisors. The important advice of each advisor is shown in the text box next to them. To view all advice we click the button in the middle. Here we can scroll through all the advice and thoughts of a certain advisor. The most important advice is always the first on the list. When an advisor has a new mission for you it will be shown on the right hand side of the screen. By clicking this mission from the Archbishop we can see the details of the mission. 
it seems like he wants us to build a new church. Again, remember that you do not have to do all the missions. This mission is classified as important and we have 32 months in which to do it. So it seems like an easy one and we might as well do it. You can always access the current missions from the mission button. Now we need to find a colony to build the church. Remember, you can loop through your colonies with the tabulator. This particular colony already has a church built. So we change to a colony up north using the tabulator. This colony doesn't have a church yet, so we might as well go ahead and build it. After it is finished, the Archbishop will let us know that the mission is completed. That's all for now on the Advisors Tutorial. Thanks for watching and enjoy the game.